Hi guys, I really wanted to film this video, so we're gonna film it. So I have beauty favorites and that's one other favorite. <laughs> Lots of lip things this month. It's not a month favorites, I just do favorites when I feel like it. And there's some stuff I was really excited about, so yeah. Let's get into it. First things first, hair, why not? This is a new Batiste dry shampoo. It's in the scent Pretty and Delicate Rose Gold. I got it for the same price as normal at Ulta and I really like it. It has a really unique smell. Um, it's kind of a mix between sweet and floral. I don't know, but it's usually not, it's not my normal kind of scent. I know I love the tropical one and I also love the sexy one, but this one is really, really nice and it works the same as the other ones. I know I did a whole dry shampoo review and I said how a lot of the Batiste dry shampoos don't work the same. This one is like on the up and up, like it's one of the good ones. Lips, let's just go through all the lip products. Yes, there is one from Glossier. Their lip gloss is one of the only things I haven't tried from them. I'm not wearing it right now, but you know what? Let's pop it on, it's clear. But it has like a pink tint to it in here, as you can see, but it's not like pink. It just goes on clear and the thing is I hate sticky lip glosses it's like the bane of my existence they're so sticky this one has like it's right on the verge of being a little bit sticky but it's so good because it actually lasts and that's something i really really like about it, it gives your lips this like fullness you can see it like it's reflection it's reflection you can see how shiny it is but there's no shimmer it's literally just a plain old clear gloss and it might be like why the hell would i want that but every gloss i've ever used in a drugstore just about like let's say nine out of ten aren't good like they're just not good and this one is really good you don't need much at all you really only need the tiniest bit right in the center and it kind of blends your whole lip another thing i love about it is it blurs out any lines doesn't feel drying a lot of the glosses although they're moisturizing looking they actually dry your lips out and like exaggerate dryness this does not do that this can go over any lip color or go on its own it just kind of amps up your lips i absolutely adore it i know it's not like a life changer but gloss is back right now and this is one i really 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 like but it's glossier so are you really surprised another lip gloss don't kill me did i mention this already i'm not sure it is i might have <laughs> it's the buxom lip cream full-on lip cream from buxom this is the shade dolly i'm not wearing this today excuse me i just burped this is in the shade dolly and i love it i remember trying something from buxom a long time ago and i thought it was really sticky i don't know if it's a new formulation or i tried the polish not the cream this stuff is so good it has really really good amount of color to it and i want to get more shades to be honest it's 20 dollars, which isn't cheap but it's worth it in my book because it has that minty tingling that's supposed to pump your lips. I don't know how much plumping I actually get from it, but it feels really plumping. And again, just like the Glossier one, it glides over your lips in a really smoothing way. It blurs any lines, it makes your lips appear more full. So even if it's not technically plumping them, it gives a look of plumping. I just adore it. I like the packaging, I like everything about it. Now I'm remembering I have talked about this before. I don't know when it was, but obviously I liked it enough to mention it twice. <laughs> Two more lip things. One is from Clarins. It's very expensive, but I'm really glad I got it. It is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Balm Perfector. It looks like that. It's very fancy. Clarins is a brand I've always really gravitated toward. It's so expensive, so I've only tried like a handful of their products, but I've almost liked everything. And I used to love their natural lip, instant light natural lip perfectors, like the glossy ones. And so I wanted something along those lines, a tinted lip balm. And that's kind of what this is and it is my perfect shade it's like a brownie neutral and i keep this in my bag because as you guys probably know my maybelline baby lips and grapevine is gone dunzo discontinued but this doesn't give the same shade as that but it just does something it feels really good it lasts really long the color is gorgeous and it's almost on the exact same like lines of every lip color i wear so i can pop it on and it gives moisture it's just really really amazing and if you were looking for something along those lines it's very low maintenance but very gorgeous i know it's not affordable but i really really like it a lot and i'll definitely be repurchasing that last thing for lips i promise is the laneige lip sleeping mask of course people rave about this all the time samantha jane and emily noel both did and i got it and i love it i don't want to say it's actually transformed my lips because i have really dry lips not because of anything i do but because i pick at them i have like a really bad habit of just like sitting and watching tv and just like picking 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 which is gross this stuff first of all boy does it smell good honestly it smells like watermelon italian ice that's the best i could describe it as it's like almost bubblegummy but sweet 
Oh, it smells like watermelon Italian ice. That's the best. Seriously, so nice. It also, you could wear it during the day as kind of like a lip gloss because it's so thick and luxurious. But I use it at night before I go to bed. And the thing about it is your hair can kind of get stuck in it. But it's not sticky. It's just because it's so thick. And it feels really good and literally it lasts for like eight plus hours while you're sleeping. So even if you wake up eight hours later, you're still going to feel that moisture. So I really like it. And I think if I didn't pick at my lips, this would heal them completely. A couple more things. A mask. I did a whole blog post on this. I swear I've mentioned all this stuff before, but I can't remember. Anyway, it's the Lush Mask of Magnamity. I got the self-preserving one because why not? It smells really minty. And at first, I was hesitant, to be honest, because every minty mask I've ever used has been so overly drying. But this did not over dry me whatsoever. It just helps with my pores. I'll put in a before and after. Uh, but you can check out my blog post for like a full review on this. But pretty much, it's technically, I guess, a dupe of the Glam Blow Clearing Treatment. And I've never used that, but this is really, really, really good. I like that it's not one of their fresh face masks because those you have to use in two weeks and it just, I can never use a mask that quickly. It also has little bits in it too. Let me see what it describes it as. Deep cleanse with tingly peppermint oil and scrubby adukey beans? Ooh, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's awesome. If you have trouble with your pores, especially in your T-zone, this is a good one. Another skincare product, and that's pretty much the brand The Ordinary. I know they're having issues with their CEO or whatever, like I don't, whatever, drama, drama, drama. Their products are good. So the first thing I wanted to get from them was a niacinamide and zinc um, serum because I wanted to compare it to Super Pure from Glossier. I'm in the process of doing that. I haven't been using it that long, but if you want, let me know in a comment. I will do like a comparison between those two because one is like a fraction of the price of the other. So one of my favorite things I've been using from them is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum and I use it every morning because as you guys know I do have drier skin but when I use this it just I don't even know how to describe it it just like changed my life it helps smooth everything over my skin feels baby soft I've also been using the lactic acid 10% serum which I do think dries me out a tiny bit but I think it's worth it because it helps clear scarring so much faster pretty much everything I've tried from them I really really like um, I am interested in trying more I really like their low prices and I could do a whole video on that if you want me to, so let me know about that too, but also if you want that comparison. Last makeup product is something I've only got a couple of days ago. It was supposed to be a gift for someone, but I got it and I was like, whoa, this shade is not right for her. So I kept it for myself because I'm a selfish person. It is the Honey Bronzer from The Body Shop. The Body Shop was having 40% off sale, had to get it. This is in the shade 3, which I really thought was a lot tanner online, so the photos online definitely aren't perfect. It looks like this and I'm obsessed with it. I'm wearing it right now, and it's just the perfect shade for me. This one, I don't know how to describe that shade. It's like tan, but still cool toned, but not too gray. So you could use it as a contour, use it as a bronzer. It's just like the perfect subtle tone for me, and I'm obsessed with it, and that's really all I can say. I also like the packaging, it's adorable, and I, I just love it. Last but not least, certainly not least, suits. I'll wait, you can applaud me. Suits is the best show. Meghan Markle is gorgeous. We all know that. She's stunning. And of course, the royal wedding got me, like, interested in her. I watched some Lifetime movie about her life, and it was just so bad. <laughs> and I really want to know more about her. I've wanted to watch Suits for a while. A lot of people recommended it to me, but it wasn't on Netflix. So recently, I got Amazon Prime. Yes, hat on the back for me. It's about time. And it's on Amazon Prime. I'm already on season five, so I only have a couple more to go um, before I'm, like, caught up. I'm really frustrated that like, I know that she obviously like, leaves the show because she's freaking a princess now. I don't know how they're gonna go on with her not being there. I don't know how they're gonna send her off. Like, please don't spoil it for me. I'll be so pissed. But I'm loving it so much. Literally, the first episode got me. Mike Ross is like my dream man. I like, he is so my type. I can't even handle it. I literally, it's crazy. So now I'm obsessed with the actor who plays him. Like, I'm just. I'm in love with this show. I think they have a lot of like women in like roles of power. I love to hate Lewis Litt. Like these characters are amazing. It's such a good cast and people have raved about it, but for some reason I just was like, eh, this just looks so boring, but I'm obsessed with it. I am obsessed. Every time I watch an episode, I've laughed, I've cried. I literally like at the end of every episode, I'm like, this show is so good. I think it's the kind of show that like, yes, some people wouldn't want to watch Vampire Diaries. Yes, some people aren't going to be into Supergirl, but I think anyone could watch Soups. It's a kind of show that like men and women, like no matter what your taste is, you'll like this show. The actors are 
just so good and um yeah i love suits watch it if you have an amazon prime it's totally worth it i also would watch it before i'm afraid like it's gonna go somewhere because like the royal family is gonna be like no you have to get rid of it that might not happen that's just a fear of mine so i want to watch it before that happens but yeah i'm loving it loving it loving it so much sorry i'm being weird and that's it for this favorites video i feel like i forgot some things but what are you gonna do thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it let me know if you let me know i don't know let me know something in a comment subscribe to see more from me i feel like i already said that and i'll see you next time